how IQ rating scales classify genius and feeble minds. The IQ rating scales compare your mental age with your chronological age, and the result is multiplied by 100 for normalization. Lewis M. Terman, professor of psychology, gave IQ rating scale a mathematical name of intelligent quotient. The IQ tests are standardized to know your intelligent quotient in comparison to other subjects in the given circumstances. The mental strength or feebleness may not affect the characteristics of mind that we all have. So, there is nothing to worry about the kids with lower intelligence. Similarly, we need not to overestimate success of gifted children. Both need special attention to be successful in their lives. Mr. Lewis Terman presented the IQ rating scale in seven different categories. Genius or near genius score 140 or above. Highly intelligent people score 120 to 140. Very intelligent score 110 to 119. Normal or average score is 90 to 109. IQ rating of 80 to 89 is equated with dullness. IQ rating of 70 to 79 is considered for those who are at borderline deficiency. A score of 70 or low is considered for feeble-mindedness. He further distributes the IQ score with some complex calculations as 50% of IQ scores fall between 90 to 110 70% of IQ scores fall between 85 and 115 95% of IQ scores fall between 70 and 130 99.5% of IQ scores fall between 60 and 140 only 5% or less people score below 70. As per classical IQ rating scale, there are four levels of people who score extremely low. 50% to 70% have mild mental retardation. 35% to 50% are considered suffering with moderate mental retardation. 20% to 35% are considered having severe mental retardation. Only I 0% to 20% are considered suffering from profound mental retardation. Whatever categories these children fall, the modern psychologists have developed systems to grow them with special attention. A few facts about highly gifted people. When you score considerably high score there are chances that you may fall in the category of genius people. As per some assessments, 1 out of 400 children can score 140 plus and qualifies to be considered as highly gifted person. The higher IQ score has its own categorization. IQ ratings of 115 to 124 are considered above average. An IQ rating of 125 to 134 is considered gifted one. Children scoring 135 to 144 are considered highly gifted. An IQ score of 145 to 154 is deemed next to a genius. The category scoring anywhere between 155 to 164 is called genius. But there are high genius people who score 165 to 179. Yet a few may score 180 to 200 to be included in the, the highest genius category. And you must not ignore that rare and unique people who at times can score 200 or above. This category is called immeasurable genius. Whatever IQ score you achieve, you must keep in mind. Some people say that Einstein had an IQ of 160 or so. As per classical IQ test categorization, he can't be included in the category of the most gifted people. 
yet he is amongst a few who influenced the human thought and experience. Similarly you see a lot of genius wasted around. It simply means, whatever your IQ score may be, you can maximize your intelligence to succeed in your life. Thank you very much on watching this video. You can download our new book Maximize Your Intelligence. Absolutely free.